Hi everyone. Welcome to the second video in a series of three videos that we were to create for self preparation for CAT 2022. We've already made a video on VRC and this is time to discuss about the con section. So in this video, there are a couple of topics that we'll be covering. What are some of the books that you can follow? How many questions you should be solving per day? What is the entire timeline to cover your basics? How should you get your concepts clear? How should you get your doubts resolved? How to make a formula book? And where can you access mocks and test series from? In the end, I will be sharing a special tip with you as well for this particular section that definitely helped me in self preparation for this section for about six months. So stay tuned and we are going to cover each and every aspect one by one. Starting off with the books that you can follow. There are three books in the market that are widely popular for the con section. Arun Sharma, Nishat Sena and Sarvesh Verma. Out of these three books, I have had first hand experience with Arun Sharma's con book and I've also created a review video for the same. So in case you want to test out what the book contains, I would recommend you to check it out. The summary of the video is that if you are a beginner in the con section, you've not had much exposure to mathematics subject or you have forgotten the basics, then I would highly recommend you Arun Sharma's con book because it has the best concept in there. A widely asked question here is that can I use the study material of any other coaching institute which my friend might have had used last year. You can definitely do that. The only issue I see with it is that there are not enough concepts cleared in those books. There are only question banks. So you will still need some resource to clear your concepts which we are going to talk about in a following section. Another question is that can I use a previous year's edition of let's say any of these three books that is definitely okay unless the syllabus changes the previous editions work equally good. So you can purchase any edition that is available in the market nearest to you. Now the most important topic which is how many questions should I be solving per day. See the thumb rule is solve as many as you can. But initially you can start off with 30 questions per day in quant and increase that by five in the coming weeks and reach a point wherein you are able to solve 50 questions per day. I started off with 30 in Jan. In Feb, I was able to solve 50 questions per day and onward I always maintained the same rate. You can obviously change it lower or higher basis your comfort level. Another thing I would recommend is to not solve all these 30 or 50 questions in one go solve them in settings. So for example, rather than solving 50 questions in one go, I used to sit to solve 10 questions in one setting and hence sat for five times in a day in order to prepare for cons. This makes sure that you don't get burned out and you're also able to absorb the concepts better. The last point talks about the order of the syllabus. I would personally recommend you to start off with arithmetic that is chapters like profit and loss, simple and compound and trust. Move on to algebra then and finally, number system and geometry. Even though most of the books start off with number system or geometry, I would not recommend you to start off with them because they have the most amount of subtopics and that may cause a little bit of disturbance in the very beginning of your preparation. So start off with arithmetic. The next topic talks about timeline that you should follow in order to cover your syllabus. There is no denying that quant requires the most rigorous amount of preparation given that it has so many chapters to cover. So set a timeline of covering the entire syllabus in about six months of self preparation. Ideally, you should be done with your syllabus by June, July or maximum August end so that you can start taking mocks very frequently after that and improve your score. Let's talk about concept clarity now because obviously if you're self preparing, you will not have access to faculty which teaches in these coaching institutes. So you need a substitute for the same. In order to clear your concepts of each chapter, you can use two resources. First is the theory mentioned in the books that I suggested in the beginning. So for example, Arun Sharma's book has theory in the beginning of each chapter four to five pages of explaining the concepts, talking about the formulas that are frequently used and explaining how to solve questions. You can read that before you proceed with the settings in solving the questions. Second resource that you can use for concept clarity are free videos that are available either on YouTube or on platforms like Unacademy. So for example, if you go to Unacademy's website and select the goal cat, you would see that there are tons of videos in there which are available for free. 
just type the name of the chapter that you're solving for example if it's simple interest just go and type simple interest and you'll find free videos available and you can clear your concepts using that so these are the two resources that you must use before you start solving questions in any of the chapters because concept clarity is a must in the con section so far so good the concepts are clear and the questions are solved but what if you have a doubt and you're not able to answer the question then the first resource you can use is the detailed answers given in the books that i recommended if you're not able to understand the solution given in the book then you can simply type the question on google by deleting the figures in there you will be able to find a similar question and get to know the approach to solve that question if let's say that also doesn't work out then the last resort that I can recommend is to post your question on a forum called Pagal Guy. It has various quant groups. You can also find CAT 2022 groups specifically and post your question in there. When I was preparing, I saw that a lot of people posted questions in there and helped each other out. So I feel like that can work equally well. This is one of my favorite topics, which is making a formula book for yourself. See, when you are studying these quant chapters and they are going to be numerous in numbers, so you may not remember all the formulas that you'll be going through. And when you are, let's say, at the end of August, appearing for mocks and you would want to revise the entire quant syllabus, you cannot open the book and revisit the formulas. Hence, you need a repository of the formulas, tricks and shortcuts that you came across on the way which is what is called as a formula book. Now, I've already created a video on the formula book that I created for myself. You can definitely check it out and see how this is created. But I would recommend you to start making a formula book from the very beginning of your preparation. The final point before talking about the secret tip is mocks and the test series that are given in various coaching institutes. I agree that in the beginning you would want to cover your syllabus first and then take mock tests but that's not the best approach. From the very beginning you should get exposed to how mock tests are conducted and get a feeler of the entire pattern. Now in order to carry that exercise out you don't need to purchase a test series outright. You can start using free mocks from the beginning. Take at least one or two mocks per month starting from Jan moving on till June. After that you can increase your mock test attempt once you are done with the syllabus. But till then attempt at least one mock per month. And for that you can use free mocks that are available online. I have created a video that you can check out and also check links in the description for test series. But I would recommend you to purchase a test series once you are done with your syllabus or you feel like you are at least 70-80% done with your syllabus. Syllabus. Now comes the secret tip. So when I was preparing for the con section, I realized that I used to spend so much time trying to solve a question that one, I used to have less time for the other questions and two, I felt demotivated that I wasn't able to solve the questions. See, what I would say is when you are self-preparing, you obviously don't know how to solve all these questions. You are learning on the way. That's the reason you're preparing. So don't focus on getting the answers right. Instead, your approach should be to attempt the questions, learn from them how they were to be solved and note down the formulas and shortcuts and tricks or the concepts out of that particular question. How you do that is by setting a time limit per question. So rather than spending 20 minutes on a single question trying to get it right, you set a time limit of let's say 5 minutes per question. Try attempting it. If you're not able to just mark it, move on to the second question. If it's a sitting of 10 questions, it will at max take you 50 minutes. And even if you take a surplus of 10 minutes, then one hour you will be able to attempt 10 questions. Even if you're not able to get many of them correct, that's fine. Look at the solution and get to know how they were to be solved. The agenda is to learn from the question and not try to get the questions correct in the first go. So that's the tip that I wanted to show. This is all about the quant section. In case you have a doubt basis this video, feel free to put them down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video.